In this video, I'll show you how to create a beautiful newsletter block that appears on every page of your Squarespace website. This video is for the most popular template family brine in Squarespace 7.0. So this hack will work with any brine family templates like Basil, Burke, Foster, Impact, Mentor, Moksha, Rally, Wave, and a whole bunch more. I'll paste the list below. In this example, I'll be working in the Rally template. Before we jump in and get started, I need to say that I'm not affiliated with Squarespace. Squarespace is a brand asset of Squarespace Incorporated, and I am just a freelance web designer who works on and loves the Squarespace platform. We'll be uploading a background image for our newsletter block, and we will use C custom CSS to hack our footer so it appears full width on every single page of our site. If you're using index pages, you may have used a trick where you create a subpage and copy it to other index pages for your newsletter block. However, this does not help with blog post pages or any pages that aren't indexes. So with this trick, you'll be able to have a beautiful newsletter sign up at the bottom of each page of your site. And if you want to update it, you only have to update it in one place, the footer, and you'll see the changes on every single page. Brian family footers have three different sections, footer top blocks, footer middle blocks, and footer bottom blocks. In this tutorial, we'll be using the top footer section for our newsletter. Let's start by adding a newsletter block to our top footer section. And save our work. Next, we'll paste the code that you'll find below into Design Custom CSS. The first part of this code tells Squarespace that we want our block to be full bleed from one side of our site to the other with no padding. Then we'll add in our code for the background image, which we'll upload in a moment. And you can see that it is set to background size cover which means that it will expand to fill the space and not repeat. You can also play with the padding of your block here by adjusting the padding top and padding bottom values so that they match the rest of your website. Our next step is adding our background image to Squarespace. And we can do that right here in the custom CSS panel. I've already optimized the image for file size and file name. If you aren't familiar with image optimization in Squarespace, I'll paste a link below for my mini course with a downloadable checklist so you can make sure your images are helping your SEO ranking and your user experience. Now let's upload that optimized image file. Click Manage Custom Files, Add Images or Fonts. I'll select my image and add it. Next, we want to replace the section that says image URL here with our actual image URL. So I'll highlight image URL here in between these single quotes, delete that, go back to manage custom files, click on the image, and you can see that the image URL is now between the single quotes. One thing that I'm noticing here is that when I pasted in my code, these single quotes are not the single quotes that I need for custom CSS. These are slanted. So I will delete these and replace with straight single quotes so that I can now see my background image. If you aren't seeing your background image, double check that you have your image URL correct, that it's in between the single quotes. If you still aren't seeing your background image, go to site styles, Click on your newsletter block, and for your background color, make sure it is set to transparent. Also, if you are using um, an alternate block color, check on your alternate block. Make sure that is set for transparent as well. Now we have a beautiful newsletter block that appears at the bottom of each page of our website. We'll scroll, scroll through so you can see it at the bottom of each page. 
If you're interested in more customizations for the newsletter block, such as matching the button style to other buttons on your site, changing the title, font, size, and color, or changing the size of your post submit message, I'll add links to those posts below. I hope you found this video helpful and that you capture many, many emails in your mailing list. I'll see you next time.